Hello, welcome to today's topic Physiotherapy MC. We will be discussing important and repeated questions for DHA, MOH, HEART, Prometric exam. Let's move to our first question. How many basic or fundamental position for starting an exercise? Option A, 4. Option B, 5. Option C, 3. Option D, 6. And the answer is Option B, 5. Moving to second question. Nodding movement of the head is an example of dash order lever. Option A, first. Option B, second. Option C, third. Option D, fourth. And the answer is Option A, first. Moving to our third question. Frankel axes are deceived to improve coordination by use of sight, sound and touch in case of ataxia due to dash. Option A, cerebellar lesion. Option B, loss of kinesthetic sensation. Option C, spastic paralysis. Option D, flaccid paralysis. And the answer is... Option B, loss of kinesthetic sensation. Moving to our fourth question. Leg lowering from extended knee position, quadriceps works dash. Option A, concentratically. Option B, eccentrically. Option C, statically. Option D, isokinetically. And the answer is... Option B, eccentrically. Moving to our fifth question. Vertical suspension is used for dash. Option A, relaxation. Option B, strengthening. Option C, stretching. Option D, proximal fixation. And the answer is... Option D, proximal fixation. Moving to our sixth question. Type of contraction, which muscles lengthening to provide tension? Option A, eccentric. Option B, concentric. Option C, isotonic. And the answer is... Option A, eccentric. Moving to our seventh question. Exercises which occur in round and consist of continuous training. Option A, open kinematic. Option B, close kinematic. Option C, circuit training. Option D, isometric. And the answer is... Option C, circuit training. Moving to our eighth question. Running is distinguished from walking by. Option A, cadence more than 130 per minute. Option B, absence of double support phase. Option C, all of the above. And the answer is... Option B, absence of double support phase. Moving to our ninth question. When use of ion to forces, it's a type of a low frequency tense. Option B, HVGS. Option C, direct current. Option D, Russian current. And the answer is... Option C, direct current. Moving to our tenth question. Center of gravity of adult human in anatomical position is slightly Option A, anterior to S1 vertebra. Option B, posterior to S1 vertebra. Option C, anterior to S2 vertebra. Option D, posterior to S2 vertebra. And the answer is... Option C, anterior to S2 vertebra. Moving to our 11th question. Which of the following PNF technique is used in cerebellar ataxia? Option A, repeated contraction. Option B, hold, relax. Option C, rhythmic initiation. Option D, rhythmic stabilization. And the answer is... Option D, rhythmic stabilization. Moving to our 12th question. The motor point of muscle is found at... Option A, proximal two-third and the one-third of the distal muscle belly. Option B, proximal one-fourth with distal three-fourth of the muscle belly. Option C, proximal one-third and the distal two-third of the muscle belly. Option D, 50% of the muscle length. And the answer is... Option C, proximal one-third and the distal two-third of the muscle belly. Moving to our 13th question. Forced expiratory technique is Option A, mid-length volume huff, diaphragmatic breathing and cuff. Option B, high-length volume huff, diaphragmatic breathing, cuff. Option C, 
low mid lung volume cough diaphragmatic breathing cough option d none of the above and the answer is option c low mid lung volume cough diaphragmatic breathing and cough moving to our 14th question double support phase present at dash phase of the gait cycle option a beginning of the stance phase option b end of the stance option c beginning and the end of the stance option d mid stance and the answer is option c beginning and the end stance moving to our 15th question what should be the progression of the exercise protocol following musculoskeletal injury option a isometric eccentric concentric option b isometric concentric concentric and eccentric option c concentric eccentric concentric and eccentric option d isometric concentric and eccentric and the answer is option a isometric eccentric and concentric moving to our 16th question in dilrom's pre the progression of 10 arm is made once in option a daily option b every week option c every fortnight option d every month and the answer is option b every week moving to our 17th question the piriformis syndrome is caused by piriformis muscle that compresses option a gluteal nerve option b femoral nerve option c obturator nerve option d sciatic nerve and the answer is option d sciatic nerve moving to our 18th question the pump handle movement is a feature of option a lower ribs option b upper ribs option c mid ribs option d diaphragm and the answer is option b upper ribs moving to our 19th question the name of the coil used to produce phonetic current in the past it was option a coke coil option b smart stoss phonetic coil option c induction coil option d none of the above and the answer is option b smart bristos faraday coil moving to our 20th question in swd the most uniform field in tissue is given by option a narrow spacing option b wide spacing option c medium spacing option d even spacing and the answer is option c medium spacing moving to our 21st question police refers to option a prevention optimum loading ice protection compression and elevation option b protection optimum lengthening ice compression elevation option c protection optimum loading ice compression and elevation and option d none of the above and the answer is option c protection optimum loading ice compression and elevation moving to our 22nd question a pathologic increase of the neck shaft angle is option a coxa vara option b coxa valga option c femoral atrioversion option d femoral retroversion and the answer is option b coxa valga moving to our 23rd question Paraffin wax bath temperature should be kept at option A 30 to 35 degrees Celsius option B 40 to 44 degrees Celsius option C 50 to 53 degrees Celsius and the answer is option B 40 to 44 degrees Celsius moving to our 24th question the ability of the posture to modify external environment and preserve the alignment of one body part to another option A postural control option b strength option c balance and the answer is option a postural control moving to our 25th question 
exercises do with optimal performance and maximum capacity with their well-being is option a fitness option b power option c coordination the answer is option a fitness okay. osteitis is a condition of option a inflammation of the bone option b inflammation of the muscle option c inflammation of the ligament option d inflammation of the mid shaft of the bone and the answer is option a inflammation of the bone moving to our 27th question dash muscle is known as a deciliator in the human locomotion option a iliopsoas option b gastrocnemius option c hamstring option d quadriceps and the answer is option c hamstring moving to our 28th question in a pulley maximum resistance force is produced when the angle of the pulley is option a in line with the moving bone option b 90 degree to the moving bone option c 60 degree with the moving bone option d 45 degree with the moving bone and the answer is option b 90 degree with the moving bone moving to our 29th question knee flexion in prone lying is an example of dash option a first order lever option b second order lever option c third order lever option d fourth order lever and the answer is option c third order lever moving to our 30th question therapeutic frequency of swd is option a 27.12 kilohertz option b 27.12 megahertz option c 27.12 gigahertz option d none of the above and the answer is option b 27.12 megahertz moving to our 31st question rhythmic initiation technique is used for dash option a tightness option b flaccid paralysis option c cerebellar ataxia option d parkinsonism and the answer is option d parkinsonism moving to our 32nd question commonly endotracheal tube insertion length for men is option a 17 to 19 cm option b 19 to 21 cm option c 21 to 23 cm option d 23 to 25 cm and the answer is option c 21 to 23 cm moving to our 33rd question tens frequency is option a 10 to 70 hertz option b 12 to 20 hertz option c 5 to 50 hertz option d 1 to 250 hertz and the answer is option d 1 to 250 hertz moving to our 34th question normal lung can withstand how much pressure option a 100 cm h2o option b 120 cm h2o option c 150 cm h2o option d 200 cm h2o and the answer is option e 100 cm h2o moving to our 35th question jaipur food may not be appropriate for belloni amputee with dash option e long stem option b medium stem option c short stem option d knee disarticulation and the answer is option a long stem moving to our 36th question delayed onset of muscle soreness is most severe at option e 5 to 10 hours option b 10 to 30 hours option c 30 to 45 hours option d 45 to 60 hours and the answer is option b 10 to 30 hours moving to our 37th question respiratory rate of infants option a 20 to 40 per minute option b 40 to 60 per minute option c 60 to 80 per minute option d none of the above and the answer is 40 to 60 per minute moving to our 38th question bogies abscess usually involves option a 
लॉन्ग बॉन्ड्स ऑप्शन बी शॉर्ट बॉन्ड्स ऑप्शन सी पेल्विक बॉन्ड्स ऑप्शन डी फ्लैट बॉन्ड्स एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए लॉन्ग बॉन्ड्स मूविंग टू अवर थर्टी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन लैटरल विजिंग इज गिवन टू करेक्ट डैश ऑप्शन ए जेन्यु वैलकस ऑप्शन बी जेन्यु वैरम ऑप्शन डी फ्लैट फोर्ट ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द एप एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी जेन्यु वैरम मूविंग टू अवर फोर्टी एथ क्वेश्चन At the end of the phase two of the cardiac rehabilitation, which exercise test is done? Option A, Bruce protocol. Option B, low level exercise test. Option D, symptom limited end point exercise. Option D, bike test. And the answer is option A, Bruce protocol. Moving to our forty-first question, the distance for using Snellen's chart is dash. Option A. Patient is 10 feet away. Option B. Patient is 20 feet away. Option C. Patient is 15 feet away. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is option B. Patient is 20 feet away. Moving to our 42nd question. Dash insertion is a muscle retracting insertion. Option A. Paramedian. Option B. Macbury's. Option C. Concurs. Option D, infraumbilical transfers, and the answer is option A, paramedian. Moving to our forty-third question, chronaxia for deinnervated muscle is option A, less than one ms. Option B, less than one ms. Option C, greater than ten ms. Option D, greater than one ms, and the answer is option C. Greater than 10 ms. Moving to our 44th question. Tense stimulation is a option A. Presynaptic inhibition. Option B. Presynaptic excitation. Option C. Postsynaptic inhibition. Option D. Postsynaptic excitation. And the answer is option A. Presynaptic inhibition. Moving to our 45th question. How many grade is a stent translatory technique? Option A. Two, option B three, option C four, option D five, and the answer is option B three. Moving to our forty-sixth question, what is not a part of stance phase? Option A deceleration, option B mid stance, option C initial contact, option D pre swing, and the answer is. Option A, deceleration. Moving to our forty-seventh question, which statement correct during the training with cane up and down stairs? Option A, unaffected leg put first during the upstairs. Option B, unaffected leg put down during the upstairs. Option C, affected leg put down in down C stairs. And the answer is option A, unaffected leg put first during the upstairs. Moving to our forty-eighth question, COG or center of gravity during locomotion observation can change the gait due to option A, COG go upward and oblique to the stance phase; option B, downward during the double limb support; option C, slide to slide oscillation; option D, move forward and backward. And the answer is option D, move forward and backward. Moving to a forty-nine question, Rio base is option A maximum tolerable current for a nerve impulse at long duration. Option B minimum current for a nerve impulse at short duration. Option C minimum current for nerve impulse at long duration. Option D none of the above. And the answer is option C. Minimum current for a nerve impulse at long duration. Moving to our fiftieth question, dash can be the physiological cause for dyspnea. Option A, hyperventilation. Option B, hemorrhage. Option C, anemia. Option D, high altitude. And the answer is option D, high altitude. The prevention of the transmission of the pain beyond the dorsal horn. Option A. 
peripheral nerve injury option b gait control theory option c spinal cord injury option d update theory and the answer is option b gait control theory moving to our 52nd question to treat patient with deep heat which is not the form of deep heat option a swd that's short way diathermy option b mwd microwave diathermy option c ir infrared option d ultrasound and the answer is option c ir or infrared moving to our 53rd question at mid stand phase of the gait cycle the line of gravity passes behind the hip joint creating flexion moment weakness of gluteus maximus give rise to dash gait option a hand to thigh gait option b anterior trunk bending gait option c posterior lunging gait option d hip hiking gait and the answer is option c posterior lunging gait moving to our 54th question anterior cerebellar artery lesion will result in option a ipsilateral lower limb sensory loss option d ipsilateral upper limb sensory loss option c contralateral lower limb sensory loss option d both upper limb and lower limb sensory loss and the answer is option c contralateral lower limb sensory loss moving to our 55th question which of the following is the most energy efficient and allows the t1 complete paraplegic and the most functional mobility during the locomotion option a manual wheelchair option b electrical wheelchair option c bilateral knee ankle orthosis and crutches option d bilateral ankle foot orthosis and crutches and the answer is option a manual wheelchair moving to our 56th question ho coil is used option a to even out the variation of the intensity of the current option b to prevent the flow of high frequency current and allow the flow of the low frequency current option d both a and b option d none of the above and the answer is option b to prevent the flow of high frequency current and allow the flow of low frequency current moving to our 57th question the pressure bandaging of the edema management in lower limb optimum pressure in ankle calf and thigh should be as follows option a 25 to 30 15 to 20 14 to 16 option b 30 to 35 20 to 25 16 to 18 option c 35 to 40 25 to 30 18 to 20 option d 40 to 45 30 to 35 20 to 22 and the answer is option b 30 to 35 20 to 25 16 to 18 moving to our 58th question footwear modification helps to dash option a modify the weight transfer pattern by shifting the load from sensitive to tolerance area option b correct the flexible deformity and accommodate the rigid deformity option c limit the motion of the painful inflamed and unstable joint option d all of the above and the answer is option d all of the above moving to our 59th question patient asked to go up stairs with crutches option a sound limb go up first option b affected limb go up first and the answer is option a sound limb go up first moving to our 60th question muscle that helps the dash to perform desired action are called the synergist option a agonist option b antagonist and the answer is option a agonist moving to our 61st question is a threatening condition that result in severe weakness of the respiratory muscle option a myasthenia gravis option b myasthenia crisis option c none of the above and the answer is option b myasthenia crisis moving to our 62nd question in metapharyngeal joint which dislocation is common option a dorsal ring finger option b dorsal middle finger 
option C dorsal index finger option D both A and B and the answer is option C dorsal index finger moving to our 63rd question patient has calf muscle tear which type of massage is used option A Topamen, option P, vibration, option C, a fluorage, option D, deep friction. And the answer is option C, a fluorage. Moving to our 64th question. What motion takes place in the lumbar spine with the right lower up extremity single limb support during the gait cycle? Option A left lateral flexion option b right lateral flexion option c extension option d flexion and the answer is option d flexion moving to our 65th question long measurement of the lower limb frame option a asis to middle malleolus option b asis to lateral malleolus option c greater trochanter to lateral malleolus and the answer is option a asis to medial malleolus moving to 66th question the most appropriate position to strengthen the sternocleidomastoid is option a supine option b sitting option c prone option d standing and the answer is Option B, sitting, moving to 67th question. Sprinkles deformity of scapula is Option A, descended or elevated scapula. Option B, descended neck of the scapula. Option C, exotosis of the scapula. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is Option A, undescended or elevated scapula. Moving to 68th question. The number of the bonds in the angle and the foot complex option A 27 bonds option B 26 bonds option C 29 bonds option D none of the above and the answer is option B 26 bonds that is ankle 7 bonds or foot 19 bonds moving to our 69th question the medial collateral ligament of the ankle is otherwise called as Option A, deltoid ligament. Option B, bifurnate ligament. Option C, spring ligament. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is Option A, deltoid ligament. Moving to our 70th question. Housemaid's knee is Option A, prepetalar bursitis. Option B, suprapetalar bursitis. Option C, infrapetalar bursitis. Option D, all. And the answer is Option C, infrapetalar bursitis. Moving to our 71st question. Management of the CDH or congenital dislocation of the hip by splintage is done with the hip placed in. Option A, flexion and abduction. Option B, extension and abduction. Option C, flexion and adduction. Option D, extension and adduction. And the answer is... Option A, flexion and abduction. Moving to our 72nd question, Weber syndrome is dash. Option A, oculomotor nerve palsy and contralateral hemiplegia. Option B, facial nerve palsy and contralateral hemiplegia. Option C, facial nerve trigeminal palsy, contralateral hemiplegia. Option D, oculomotor abducent and optic nerve palsy and contralateral hemiplegia. And the answer is. Option A, oculomotor nerve palsy and contralateral hemiplegia. Moving to our 73rd question. What structure in the heart prevents the backflow of the blood into the right atrium? Option A, the tricuspid valve. Option B, bicuspid valve. Option C, mitral valve. Option D, foramen or velle. And the answer is... Option A, tricuspid valve. Moving to our 74th question. Deficiency of DASH causes the osteomalacia in adults. Option A, vitamin B. Option B, vitamin D. Option C, vitamin E. Option D, vitamin E. And the answer is... 
Option B, vitamin D. Moving to our 75th question. Muscles involved in Waltzmann's ischemic contracture. Option A, flexor pollicis longus. Option B, flexor profundus. Option C, flexor submillis. Option D, all. And the answer is... Option D, all. In hip joint, which is location is much common? Option A, posterior. Option B, anterior. Option C, central. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is... Option A, posterior. Moving to our 77th question. In which hand the cane and the walking stick hold? Option A, affected limb. Option B, opposite to the affected limb. And the answer is option B, opposite to the affected limb. Moving to our 78th question. The patellar tendon bearing POP cast is indicated in the following fracture. Option A, patella. Option B, tibia. Option C, medial malleolus. Option D, femur. And the answer is Option B, tibia. Moving to our 79th question. In poliomyelitis, destruction occurs in Option A, muscle. Option B, peripheral nerve. Option C, anterior horn cells. Option D, posterior horn cells. And the answer is Option C, anterior horn cells. Moving to our 80th question. A cryotherapy contraindication. Option A, peripheral arterial disease option b acute disease option c acute inflammation and the answer is option a peripheral arterial disease moving to our 81st question for a test is done for dash option a intrinsic muscle option b abductor pollicis brevis option c adductor pollicis option d opponent pollicis and the answer is option C, adductor pollicis. Moving to our 82nd question. Median nerve injury above the elbow leads to option A, ape stump, option B, trigger finger, option C, wrist drop, option D, ulnar claw hand. And the answer is option A, ape thumb. Moving to our 83rd question. Which is a depression on the humeral head in the posterior lateral quadrant caused by impingement by the anterior edge of the glenoid on the hat as it dislocates? Option A. Buckets lesion. Option B. Hill satch lesion. Option C. Both. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is... Option B. Hill satch lesion. Moving to our 84th question. The following is the correct for the Chopard's amputation. Option A, intertarsal. Option B, tarsometatarsal. Option C, carpometacarpal. Option D, none. And the answer is... Option A, intertarsal. Moving to our 85th question. All of the following in the gait cycle except Option A, swing phase. Option B, mid swing option c initial contact option d heel flat and the answer is option d heel flat moving to our 86th question which scale used for check the level of consciousness option a mmse scale option b gcs scale option c ciq scale and the answer is Option B, GCS scale. Moving to our 87th question. Flexion occurs in any phase from this. Option A, mid stance. Option B, toe off. Option C, mid swing. Option D, heel strike. And the answer is... Option C, mid swing. Moving to our 88th question. Which muscle bilateral weakness patient use bilateral crutches option a gluteus medius option b gluteus maximus option c quadriceps option d hamstring and the answer is option a 
ऑप्शन बी ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस मूविंग टू आवर एटी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन मसल दैट मोस्ट एंकल ऑफ माउथ इनफीरियर एंड बैक ऑप्शन ए प्लेटसीमा ऑप्शन बी मेटालिस ऑप्शन सी मसीटो एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए प्लेट सीमा मूविंग टू आवर नाइन्टी एथ क्वेश्चन टू वाट डज द टर्म कार्डियक आउटपुट रफर्स ऑप्शन ए द स्पीड ऑफ द ब्लेड फ्लो थ्रू द आयोटा ऑप्शन बी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ब्लेड फ्लोइंग थ्रू द आयोटा पर मिनिट ऑप्शन सी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ब्लेड पम्प्ड बाय द हार्ट विथ ईच बीट ऑप्शन डी द नंबर ऑफ हार्ट बीट्स पर मिनिट एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ब्लेड फ्लोइंग थ्रू द आयोटा पर मिनिट मूविंग टू आवर नाइनटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन ट्रेक्यूस्टमिक कोलर द ऑक्सीजन डिलीवरी सिस्टम यूशली गिवस डैश लीटर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑप्शन ए टू टू फोर लीटर ऑप्शन बी फोर टू सिक्स लीटर ऑप्शन सी सिक्स टू एट लीटर ऑप्शन डी एट टू टेन लीटर्स एंड द आंसर इज Option D, eight to ten liters. Moving to our ninety-second question, which of the following is the most appropriate orthosis for the patient with extensive foot pronation during static standing? Option A, scaphoid pad. Option B, metatarsal pad. Option C, metatarsal bar. Option D, rocker bar. And the answer is. Option A. scaphoid pad moving to our 93rd question prosthetic thermoplastic material made from option a low temperature thermoplastic material option b medium temperature thermoplastic material option c high temperature thermoplastic material option d thermosetting plastic and the answer is Option A low temperature thermoplastic material moving to our 94th question neuroplaxia of peripheral nerve fair option A the valerian degeneration occur in 3 days option B degenerative changes are completed by 21 days option C no valerian degeneration take place option D none and the answer is Option C no valerian degeneration take place moving to our 95th question for meniscus injury there should be dash option A shear of compressed knee option B torsion of the compressed knee option C shear and torsion of the knee option D torsion of extended knee and the answer is option B torsion of the compressed knee moving to our 96th question An example of synovial joint is option A intervertebral disc option B sternomandibular joint option C sacroiliac joint option D distal tibiofibular joint and the answer is option C sacroiliac joint moving to our 97th question The positive Adams test indicates toss due to toss means thoracic outlet syndrome. Option A scalene, option B cervical rib, option C reduced scapulo-clavicular angle, option D tumor. And the answer is option B cervical rib. Moving to our ninety-eighth question, fracture shaft humerus is associated with. option a axillary nerve injury option b radial nerve injury option c brachial plexus injury option d median nerve injury and the answer is option b radial nerve injury moving to our 99th question one must avoid lying dash during the late pregnancy option a supine option b side lying on the left option c side lying on the right option d none and the answer is option a supine moving to our 100th question the lesion in complex part lalysis is at option a cervical plexus option b lower brachial 
option c upper brachial option d sacral plexus and the answer is option b lower brachial so that's the end of this series if you need any clarification for the above questions do check in the description box if you need further clarification comment in the comment box i'll be back with new series soon thank you